Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. Uh, it's been so long actually. I think this is the longest I've gone without uploading on YouTube in years. Like I don't remember last time I took this big of a break and it's only been I think like two or three weeks but it feels like it's been forever and it wasn't meant to be a break. Like I never planned to take a break. I just happened to and time slipped away from me and then also I lost my camera which had an entire video on it so that footage is now forever gone and I was gonna upload it last week like that was gonna be my first video of the year but obviously since I didn't get to do that then I was like okay scratch that I'm just gonna sit down in my car and I'm gonna film a life update because I just feel like I need to sit down and talk to you guys and I've been kind of using my podcast as a time to you know do like life updates or you know be a little bit more open and vent on my podcast but I never want to neglect my YouTube channel and I just want you guys to know that like YouTube is still what I find so much joy in I'm trying to be on TikTok but for some reason let me know what you guys think about this but tiktok just feels like i can't actually open up on there and i can't actually be myself on there like i'm constantly filming trendy content or i'm filming content that i see others filming and i don't really have like my own thing on tiktok and i feel like when i am on tiktok I don't ever get like really invested in anyone like in any specific creator like I might think that they're really funny I might think that you know their TikToks are good but I don't actually like care about them whereas on YouTube the people that I watch their vlogs like I genuinely care about them and I feel like I know them on a deeper level than I do TikTokers and we can dive into parasocial relationships with that but that's not what I'm talking about I just feel more of a connection to people that I follow on YouTube than I do tiktok so let me know if you guys feel that same way but yeah it's just been weird for me content lately has been weird for me um and i just wanted to sit down and film this little life update and just talk to you guys as a friend that is like driving in the car with me talking to me i'm not gonna be driving because safety but we can pretend i have this on in the background pretend like you're my little passenger princess right here uh and we're just chatting away okay Great. But before we do get into that, I wanted to thank my very favorite sponsor and the first sponsor of the year. Drum roll, please. Everyone take a guess. Squarespace, of course. I am obsessed with Squarespace. It is the easiest way to build an online website. And if you guys are starting this year and you're like, this is the year I'm starting a business, it's the year I'm starting my brand, it's the year I'm starting that store, starting that restaurant, I'm gonna get more jobs, whatever it is, you need a website. You need something that is your own. We can't rely on these social media platforms for absolutely everything. So build it on Squarespace. There are incredibly customizable templates and they're so beautiful. And if you guys want some examples of like, okay, what does a Squarespace website really look like? Look no further than getrella.com. Go check out Rella's website. We built that on Squarespace. It is so easy. You don't need any developers. You don't need any code. And you can get 10% off your very first purchase using my code NatalieBarbu or going to squarespace.com slash NatalieBarbu. Thank you Squarespace for being my favorite sponsor and for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into the life update. Okay, so I didn't prepare any notes for this. I didn't prepare any script, which I usually like to kind of like draft out my videos slightly just so that I stay on track. But again, like I said, this is going to be like you driving in the car with me and we're just chilling away. So that's what it's going to be. I guess the first thing I want to talk about is, yeah, content. I mean, I have just felt so lost with it and we're gonna talk about like comparison and all of this stuff because I am someone that I have always been someone that has grown slow and steady. I've grown slow and steady. I've never had anything really like go viral. My TikTok did just hit a million views though so <laughs> anyways not about that. I've always been a slow and steady grower and I lately, because I've been so focused obviously on building Rella, I haven't been as focused on creating content. But I don't ever want to lose that because Rella is my priority. Like if I'm being totally honest, it is what I want to see grow the most. But social media and content creation is like my true love. <laughs> Rella is my baby and social media is like my one true love in terms of content creation and so I'm putting so much emphasis on Rella but I never want to lose creating content and it's honestly not because like oh my god like 
you guys miss my content so much because truthfully I don't know if anyone misses my content I don't know if anyone's like oh why hasn't she posted a video like I don't really think about that but what I do know is that I am asking myself why haven't I posted a video I love doing this this is seriously what I truly enjoy doing it makes me so happy it makes my it breaks up my week in like such a good way and I'm like obsessed with creating content and watching my old vlogs and like seeing my digital diary throughout the past 11 years of my life and it's just like a creative outlet for me on top of that I love creating content that actually helps other people and so I really really miss it but I've been in this trap of comparing myself and then beating myself up because I'm not doing good enough or my content isn't good enough or people don't care about me or I'm like slipping into like irrelevance and I say that not for people to be like oh my god no like feed me compliments like that's not why I'm saying that but I'm just being real with you like I know so many of you guys are also trying to be content creators or you so many of you guys are content creators and you're trying to grow and just know that there are always waves of like losing followers and not growing as much and you know being potentially deemed irrelevant but that does not mean that you are irrelevant and it does not mean that you should stop creating content because like I said I truly love doing this and I'm doing it for myself at the end of the day also the lighting is changing just because of the clouds so if it's changing then that's why so it's just been hard because I've been losing followers on Instagram I feel my, like my engagement is so bad and I always hated when people would complain about like the algorithm and it's not even that I'm complaining about the algorithm it's more so I'm like I feel like people don't care about me anymore and it's just like decreasing my self-confidence if I'm being honest and I never want to be that person that like cares about followers as like a metric that determines value but I feel like when you've been doing something your for literally feels like your whole life and it's become like an identity to you when you see that kind of like decreasing or like not doing as well as you want it's really hard to not place your identity in that and not place your value in that so that's just been like a struggle that I've been going through and it's been really freaking hard if I'm being honest and I would love to know what you guys want to see but I'd also just not only that like not only to help me I just want to know I just want you guys to know that if you're feeling this way because you see people blowing up on TikTok and people like growing because they're posting these like aesthetic reels on Instagram and you're drowning because you have a full-time job and you don't have time to create content and you feel like your stuff isn't good then you're not alone but that's just how I've been feeling and I just want to say I'm so grateful for like still having the financial freedom to be able to do this like I still am making good money on social media I still have some amazing brand partnerships I still have my engaged audience is so engaged and so loyal and those people are like my like day ones that have been with me forever and I developed like friendships with them but it's more so just like when you look at the numbers and stuff it's really easy to get wrapped up in it and I really freaking hate that so that's just kind of how I've been feeling which it's just been kind of like a big bummer on on my self-confidence and then I get annoyed that I'm even like attributing followers to my self-confidence so that's kind of been like the mental space that I've been in lately and then aside from that in terms of like confidence you guys obviously know if you're watching this video most likely you know this but I did break up with my boyfriend of four years last year 2022 and that was really really hard for me and I remember thinking when that was happening I was like this is the worst feeling ever I can't imagine like not feeling this heartbreak anymore and not feeling this like upset about it and even in my like three month update video when it was three months post breakup and like three months of being single I was like getting teary eyed and I was getting upset and I was like oh my god I just feel like I'm never gonna move on it's gonna feel so weird when I move on I I like can't imagine like going on dates with other people I can't imagine like being happy with anyone else and I will say it's been about like five months now it's almost been five months since since it's happened time heals all like it is incredible how you are thinking one day you're thinking like this feeling will never go away and then you continue to live your life and life moves on and you and the other person move on 
and you start realizing like wow i don't feel that sadness anymore and i don't feel that pain in my heart anymore and i actually feel like happy and content or you start realizing you're like wow i haven't thought about that person all day today like it used to be that i would think about them every hour and now it's like it's been a whole day and like i they they haven't even crossed my mind or it's been a week and they haven't even crossed my mind or whatever that is for you and that is just like a very weird feeling for me because obviously when you spend like so long with a person it's it's even like a bittersweet feeling to like let that person go even in your like thoughts and in like your heart but it's been around five months almost and i can confidently say that i feel so much better i feel so much more confident in like being single i love being single i am not necessarily like looking for anyone but for the very first time a few weeks ago actually I had a conversation a few weeks a few months over a month ago I had a conversation with one of my best friends and I was like you know what like it just like a feeling just hit me and I truly think that it was God that was like talking to me in that moment but it was like a feeling where it was like I'm ready to move on like I'm ready to let this person go and like move on and I'm I'm gonna be open to like new relationships and like new things and I didn't feel that way until that moment it was like a something that just like hit me and I was like wow this is what this feels like like going from being like heartbroken and like missing a person to like ready to explore new things and while no I am not seeing anyone I'm not in a relationship I'm not talking to anyone there's none of that I have gone on like a few dates and it's been with people that I've met in real life like in the past like I've, I've it's been in with people that I've actually met I'm not on dating apps i actually hate them i thought that i would like like you know like hinge or whatever like i i was like maybe i'll try hinge my personality and maybe this will change in the future because like i i think so many people are on dating apps but like i love meeting people in person because of that like spark and that connection and it's really hard for me to feel that on dating apps i just feel so like uninspired and I never actually want to meet anyone there and also I'm not at the point where I'm looking like if I meet someone in person and I connect with them and I want to like go on a date I will go on that date but I'm not gonna go on a date with someone that I have like zero connection with because I'm in a spot where I like really enjoy being single and I'm not looking for something so I'm not putting myself out there in that way but I am putting myself out there in the way that like I'm open to saying yes to things if I feel like there's a connection there if that makes sense so yeah and it's been nice like it's actually been nice haven't had any bad experiences I mean I haven't really gone on many I've gone on like two dates total like so it hasn't been like a ton but the point of the story is that I am actually I feel like very confident in putting myself out there and it doesn't feel weird and I'm so happy that I waited until I did because if I would have gone on dates really early on just to like help me get over my boyfriend, I would have gone into it with such a bad mindset and I would be th comparing everyone to him and I would be thinking about him all the time. Whereas I'm actually going on these dates and I'm not thinking about that and I'm actually like letting myself enjoy what is right in front of me. And so if you are someone that just got out of a relationship and you're like, when am I going to feel that way? Just know that it does happen. And it's kind of like, at least for me, it was like an all at once thing. So I would love to know if that's how it's been for you guys when you guys have been in, in relationships in the past. So yeah, I mean, I just, I'm, I'm just so happy about that. And I truly love being single and it's just been so great. And other things that I'm like working on this year. So some more like updates from this year. I feel like this year is going to be a year that like God is really trying to one like straight like grow my relationship with him and get me closer to him by like relying on him more because i have definitely with my faith have gone through ups and downs and i've never been someone who has completely like left my faith and for those of you guys who don't know i am a christian i've never been someone who's like i don't believe this this is like not what i want to be a part of but I've gone through a lot of seasons and a lot of long seasons in my life where I just haven't felt like close to God. Like it's been something that like, yeah, I believe in this, but like 
mm, like I'm not like spending any time with him i'm not praying so i definitely think that this year is just going to be a year where i am really focused on my relationship with god and i am trying to be more intentional with it so i'm spending more time in the morning doing like a quiet time and a devotional i'm spending more time in prayer i feel like he's been putting things in my life that's just making me rely on him so much more and I just have so much more of a peace about everything. Like, I have a peace that things will work out the way that they are supposed to. And I have a peace that whatever happens is, is like, I'm just, I'm just putting everything kind of, like, relying on God for everything. And it's just brought me a lot of peace. And that just wasn't what my situation was like in the past. I, I just felt like I wasn't close to him. I felt like I was not spending time with him. And I also felt like I couldn't really share that part of myself just because I didn't have people in my life that understood besides my family. And I felt like I, I couldn't share like my faith with anyone. And it's crazy that like moving here to Miami, I've met so many people that they've just like, we go to church together. We can talk about our faith together. My fr like I've, I've developed such closer friendships with people that kind of share that same faith or even if they don't share it because i have so many majority of my friends don't if i'm being honest i felt more open to like talking about that with them and not in a way of like talking about it and like shoving things down people's throats because that's just not me like you guys on this channel know like that's not me i never shove any belief down anyone's throat because that's just like i don't think there's a point to doing that but it is such a big part of my life that i want to be able to like just discuss it and i want other people to be able to discuss like their beliefs with me too so anyways that's kind of a side note but i've just felt like this year i'm definitely relying on on god more and it's brought me a lot more peace and i'm just excited for this year and i'm feeling confident and i'm feeling good about it and i don't know that's kind of where i'm at this video is getting very very lengthy and i've had to turn off my camera three separate times because it's overheating because it's like in direct sunlight but that's kind of my life update i would love to do more of these maybe i'll do one on the podcast definitely follow my podcast so you can hear way like more just not even it's not really about me i just like like to vent about random topics on my podcast um and i want to do like more solo episodes on there so if you guys are a listener let me know if you guys like that but yeah that's kind of how i feel i'd love to know your thoughts like please just have this be like an active comment section because that makes me really happy and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later bye guys